All right, so I finally got my uh, my 450 size quadcopter together after selling my uh, 450 helicopter. So I thought I'd show everybody. Um, I cannot do the maiden flight today, which I'm disappointed in because it is raining uh, currently like crazy out here. So a uh, quick rundown of what I used. I have uh, from RC Timer. I have their Q450 frame. Uh, this is the version 2 with the integrated PCB board, uh, which means you solder all your speed controls and everything right to the frame, uh, which worked out really nice, cleans up the wiring. Um, I'm also running their 2830-11,000 kV brushless motors, got four of those. Um, I'm also running their counter-rotating 10 by 4.5 props, which seem to be pretty good. Uh, they needed a lot of balancing. Um, but I, I use a lot of RC timer props, so I'm kind of used to that. Um, but once you uh, once you sand them down, uh, they balance out nice, uh, and they run pretty good. And then um, I'm also using something new that they've got is their uh, Simon K flashed uh, multi-copter 30 amp ESCs, um, which uh, the Simon K firmware is supposed to be uh, faster reacting. It's supposed to be really good for quadcopters. Um, I don't know. Uh, everybody else says they work great. I have no idea because I can't fly it today. But um, but I got those. And then from Hobby King, I got their uh, KK2 board with the LCD screen and all that stuff. Uh, this is a really nice board. It's really easy to set up. Um, I, I haven't had any problems uh, setting it up. The only problem I've had is with the uh, USB ASP adapter. Uh, so you can update the firmware. There is a firmware update, but I can't do it because uh, my computer won't recognize the adapter. So I'm working on fixing that problem, but it fly. It, it should be fine on the stock firmware. Um, also from HK, uh, I'm using their 2200 milliamp Turnigy battery pack. Uh, I got two of these. These are really nice battery packs, 40C. Um, and then I put uh, on the bottom because I like to get my stuff off the ground because I usually fly off of grass. Um, I bought their 500 size landing skids uh, for the HK500. <clears throat> These are nice. They're a little flexible. Um, they're definitely more flexible than uh, the Align ones, but uh, that's good. It should absorb some landing bumps if I get a little rough on my landings. Um, other than that, that's pretty much everything that I've used on here. Cut my wiring nice and neat. Oh, and I've got uh, the HK uh, Orange Spectrum receiver, the six-channel one. Um, I use those on my planes, and I have never had a problem with them. Um, granted, I'm not going thousands of feet away, but they seem to be working pretty good, and they are expandable with uh, the satellite receiver, uh, which Hobby King also sells for like 11 bucks or something like that. Um, I may eventually get one of those just as backup, but um, I've never had a problem with these receivers, so I use them. I like them. Um, that's pretty much it until I get a flying video, which hopefully should be this week. Uh, the weather is supposed to be kind of crappy today and tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. It's supposed to be crappy today and tomorrow, and hopefully it gets better so I can uh, fly this thing uh, this week, get some video, and uh, I'll get it up right away. Uh, if anybody's got any questions, uh, either message me or uh, post them under the video. Uh, hit like if you like this, if you like the video. Um, I'm not making money on YouTube, but it's not why I'm doing it. Anyway, so uh, hit like if you like the video. I like to get likes. It's fun. Uh, it makes me feel good. Um, yep, that's it. Cool. Everybody enjoy their Sunday. Hopefully uh, your weather's better than mine.